Hey folks, this is Davian Hill from Solve Fix Build and I'm giving you an update on electric trucks and why I'm excited about them. So, from my last video that I showed, I talked about some of the new electric trucks that are coming to market. And there were some immediate things that happened in the market after that video came out, which were a bit surprising and I'll update you on those here. Why am I excited about electric trucks? Well, I'm excited because electric trucks are going to have superior performance to gasoline trucks today. And the reason why is because you have all your torque instantly, you can have much better efficiency, and an electric drivetrain is just suited, well suited, for moving heavy things around, as evidenced by things like electric forklifts and the fact that uh, trains are mostly an electric drivetrain powered by diesels. Electric trucks are going to be pretty awesome. You're going to be able to tow anything, you're going to be able to haul anything, and the specs that you saw on the last video I gave you are really, really good. Look at this timeline. So, you've got a lot of announcements now from different vehicle manufacturers that are coming out. Rivian says that they're going to have their R1T and R1S vehicles available by 2021. Bollinger might beat them to market. Now, why would that be possible? Bollinger has a simpler vehicle to manufacture. They don't have a lot of compound curves in their body panels, for example. And Robert Bollinger made it very clear that he wasn't sure if they were going to have mass manufacturing or hand assembly when he was thinking about going to market. So it could very well be the case that their new facility in Michigan, where they intend to do production, could start off as a very labor-intensive hand-assembled kind of manufacturing line. And that wouldn't be too uh, different from a lot of boutique and niche manufacturers that sell low volumes of vehicles like, you know, Ferrari, Aston Martin, Bentley, you know, those kinds of things. Now, I'm not saying that the Bollinger is going to be of the quality of a Bentley in terms of what you would expect for luxury, but it might be kind of high prices, you know, $60,000 and up. And so therefore, in that kind of market, maybe they can get away with that. And they might get to market first. What they're saying here is 2020 because of their simplicity in their design and the fact that they've been working on this for a long time. Now Rivian, when they came out, they said that they're gonna be there in 2021. Are they gonna uphold that? I don't know, because they have been so patient and so slow and they've been very, they've been delaying their own gratification in coming to market. They've been supposedly at this for 10 years and nobody knew, right? So then they come to market and they've got a really well design vehicle, a very complete design, and they've already got a manufacturing facility. So maybe when Rivian says that they're going to do it by 2021, they mean it. Now what about Tesla? Tesla is probably going to unveil some updated version of their truck prototype this year. Uh, but you never really know. Uh, Elon Musk's uh, updates come via Twitter, and he's going to do probably another one of his on-stage rollouts of something. Uh, this year about whatever and maybe the truck will be the main focus of that or maybe the truck will be a secondary focus of that He's also supposed to unveil the Model Y. So we'll see. We'll see what comes out and all that but in any case uh, If Elon Musk says that he's going to deliver the truck I can't imagine him saying that he's going to deliver it later than Rivian Right if he cares about Rivian at all as a competitor if he's taking Rivian seriously He's going to say that there's going to be a delivery date on that truck before Rivian which means late 2020. Let's say he says that. And then we know that he's not going to make that delivery date. So let's say that it's 9 to 12 months later that he actually does deliver it. Tesla truck comes to market at the same time the Rivian does. And, you know, there'll be a gray area about whether or not Tesla came to market first or Rivian did. We'll see. Meanwhile, Ford has come out and said they're going to make electric trucks. And Jeep has come out and said that they're going to make electric Jeeps and Ram pickups from Fiat Chrysler. And that's great. And they have a whole plan already of, of rolling out plug-in hybrid electric vehicles before then. So between 2020 and 2022, we're going to see all these plug-in hybrids. You know, whatever. Who cares about plug-in hybrids anymore? I don't think anybody does. But these guys have been committed to this research and development plan and this product development plan for at least five years, right? And that's how the big three always have worked. They get entrenched in these sort of five-year product development cycles. And it's very hard to undo them. So... It's going to be hard for them to roll out anything fast, even if they have to pivot quickly to the market. There's a really interesting article that I mentioned in the last video I did, which I read after I published my last video. But this article is excellent. If you like reading articles with really good data that back up what the author is saying, this one's for you. This is on Seeking Alpha. 
the article was written by Ross Tessian. And what Ross says is, big oil is doomed. Basically he says, if you're a buyer of a vehicle coming soon, you likely are waiting for your EV. And I can totally relate to this. I understand this and maybe a lot of you are as well. Your next vehicle purchase may very well likely be an EV and you're either waiting to see what's coming or you're just, you recently bought a car and you're not really interested in buying a car right now. Well, I did the same thing. I traded in my truck and exchanged it for a used Cadillac ATS so that I could have a fun car to drive around for a while. And that was meant to be sort of my interim vehicle. I'm waiting for an electric vehicle to come. I wanted a Tesla Model 3 and I was really waiting to see when somebody would come out with an electric, an electric pickup truck, which is why I'm so excited about this market here coming soon. So given that that's the case with a lot of buyers, myself included, maybe he's right. What he's indicating in his article is that sales are going to slowly peter out and drop off on conventional vehicles. And, you know, probably the economists, the macro economists are going to be looking at that and saying, oh, no, the market's in really bad shape because there's less purchase of vehicles. And usually that's a lead indicator of, you know, a downturn. And at the same time, you're going to see oil uh, demand go down and usually oil demand dropping as an indication of a global economic depression. And so people are going to say, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. And as that's happening, everyone's going to be holding out and waiting for their EVs. And then when the EVs start to hit the market, you're going to see the EV sales start to go up and you're really going to see oil plummet. So those two indicators are going to split. They're going to be different than the historical norm. And nobody's going to know what to do with that. And it's going to be really hard for people to kind of, you know, read the tarot cards and figure out what's happening. But what that means is conventional vehicles are dead, oil's dead, electric vehicles are coming. It's a very convincing article. Read it when you get a chance. Ford has not been shy in saying, okay, we're going to do an electric F-150. That's really cool. I think they already had the plans in the cards. They just didn't want to uh, reveal it too much. And that's one thing about that Seeking Alpha article that's also interesting. They were saying that even if the big three have been aggressively developing electric trucks, they're not going to come out and say it too loud because they don't want to cannibalize their existing sales. They know that there's a lot of consumers like you and I who are sitting here waiting for a car to come. They don't want to speed up that process any more than they need to. So what they're saying is, let's be quiet about it and let's do the unveiling when it's the right time to do the unveiling. But in the meantime, we want people to buy more combustion vehicles because that's what we have to offer the market right now. We can't survive a valley of death where everyone's waiting to buy a new car and nobody's buying the cars we're making. And so maybe that's why they're being quiet. There's probably some truth to that. And that's really interesting. But Ford was the first to really come out after the Rivian reveal and say, hey, we're going to do an F-150. And I think Ford has a good chance of doing it. They've got some electric vehicle history. And so uh, they're going to do something kind of cool. And this interpretation that Car and Driver put out was actually kind of an attractive truck. So let's see what they come up with. Meanwhile, Fiat Chrysler says, me too. We're going to do some Jeeps and some Rams. And in the meantime, we're going to roll out some electric hybrids. Uh, you know. I don't know if people are really going to go for the electric hybrids or not, but at least they'll have something in the interim and they'll be getting their experience up. Fiat Chrysler has not had a lot of success with electric vehicles so far. So hopefully they can execute this program really well and they can develop some really cool vehicles while they're, while they're trying it. Meanwhile, I don't know what GM's doing. You know, I, in my last video, I showed that they had no plans to roll an electric truck. And then shortly after I released that video, CEO Mary Barra says, Hey, you know, we might be doing something. And it's funny. Electric is the one that published these. They use the same image and they got two different titles. There's the one in November 2018 and there's the one in January 2019. So I have no idea what GM's doing. If they're trying to be cagey with the market, it's working. But then there's this stuff about maybe some fake news. There's fake news out there that says that maybe Tesla is going to co-develop a drivetrain for GM that GM would license. Now, is that fake news or not? Neither company wants to comment on it right now. It's super top secret. And maybe that's why Elon Musk hasn't focused so much on electric trucks because of whatever partnerships he's trying to develop. Tesla has made it clear in the past that they intend to license their designs and products to other manufacturers. And maybe that's not a bad thing because Tesla's battery packs are really well developed. They're really well understood and they're really well designed. And their electric drivetrains are some of the best in the industry right now. So. 
if I were in some of the shoes of the other auto manufacturers and I needed to keep up with the market and I didn't have time to invest five years into a new R&D development plan in order to address a current market need, I would certainly go look to other competitors to see what I could buy from them. And that's not uncommon. The automotive industry has done that for a long time. I always like to talk about the Mitsubishi four-cylinder motor in my parents' 1985 Plymouth Voyager when I was a kid. So that's common for uh, automotive manufacturers to license and buy um, technology from somebody else. And so maybe that's what GM will do. How's it all going to turn out? I don't know. It looks like right now, based on what we understand, we're going to see Bollinger first, then maybe Tesla and Rivian. Let's see how seriously Tesla takes the Rivian competition. But I bet you Tesla will try to come to market before Rivian does. And then we're going to see a Ford. And then we're going to see a Dodge or a Ram. And if GM gets their stuff together, or if they've already got something in the works, maybe we'll see them somewhere in the mix. That's my prediction right now. This is Damien Hill from Salt Fix Build. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below. We'll see you later. Thanks.